This is a review for Wondershare Video Converter Automate for Mac. It is also available for Windows. You have three main sections. Convert, burn to burn to a DVD or copy a DVD. Download to download videos from YouTube, which is a handy little feature. Not all converters have this does. Then you drag your files into this area or hit Command O to add the video you want. Then down here is your list or your presets, including categories such as devices, editing such as for Final Cut Pro 10 or ProRes format iMovie, HD and 3D formats, web sharing such as Facebook and YouTube, video such as HEVC, which is good. I'm glad to see they have H265, also known as HEVC support. This is basically a sequel to H.264 except it supports 4K and you can basically f uh, if you made a file that's 1080p HD it'll be about the same size as a 720p file would have been in the old format and a 4K video would be about the size of a 1080p video in the old format if you see what I mean so it's a great new format so I'm glad to see the inclusion of that you have here some audio now here you can select such as Apple TV third gen which is the one I'd use the most you can select the various iPads including the iPad Air if you want the old Apple TV boxes just a generic Apple profile iPhone profiles, iPod profiles, Galaxy by Samsung uh, Kindle Fire, Xbox One Windows Phone, PS3 or 4, Nintendo Wii, 360, PSP, uh, generic Android, and various other formats. You can then select your output format. This is the folder by default. You can also, if you have several videos up here that you want joined together, you can merge all the videos together here and here is the start button. Up here we have scanned this QR code with the Wondershare player app on your device to initiate a transfer and a transfer the video over to your device such as a smartphone. If we go to burn you have task, burn or copy, select the name for the disk, select if you want it to go to a DVD disk or a DVD disk folder on your hard drive dot DVD media or an ISO file it doesn't seem to have blu-ray support which would be a nice inclusion you then have no menu or some preset menu designs such as Christmas and rainbow here you can scroll over for some more it ain't a huge amount and I'm not sure if there's a way to add more or not you can select your aspect ratio such as widescreen 16x9 or letterbox 4x3 the old standard definition ratio you, uh, as you add files here it will tell you how much is used up of your disk out of the size of a 4.7 gig DVD you select DVD or DVD dual layer which will add more space if you're burning to a dual layer DVD and quality best, better or good and then play here or burn button there lastly we have the download tab for downloading videos from YouTube three ways to download it says click download button near the video area in your web browser copy the URL and click paste up here or drag the URL onto this window you have a list of the ones you've downloaded here in this tab or downloading will have a list here you can use turbo mode which is three times faster than not having it on it's off by default I don't know how it works as turbo mode I'm not sure if it de de degrades the quality or not However, I have noticed it is much faster. I recommend having it on because you might be able to download a YouTube video at, say, 5 minutes instead of taking 25 minutes. So it does work. You can then have it automatically convert after download by turning that on here. You can pause all or resume all. YouTube MP3 to have it as an MP3 file instead. And let's check out how that works. Okay, so this is YouTube. I'm at the moment just using Firefox but it does actually even support 
uh, Safari on Mac, which is good because not all plugins are compatible with Safari, unfortunately, even though that is my main browser. Okay, so let's see. How about we select this guy, guy here? Okay. You'll start to load your video like normal. I'm going to pause that. Then you'll see your button is up here that's been added. Click it. You'll get a list of resolution so you can have full 1080p although of course if the video isn't uploaded as 1080p then you won't have this choice 720, 480, 360, 240 or just an audio mp3 so let's select the biggest format this link needs to be open with application and there we go it's automatically added it it's analyzing and waiting for download And there we go, done. Remember Turbo was on though. There we go, there's a 2 minute 24 video, 60.3 megabytes, an MP4, 1080p, and we have some options here. This is burn to disk, convert, or push it straight to your device using the app. So let's say convert. Now added it to the converting window. We can now uh, let it use its subtitle or not. I say no subtitle. It now says a high speed conversion is supported. Then if there's multiple audio formats here, you'll be able to select it there. Info. Now this is a feature I like. This isn't on all converters. In fact, it is not available on the Mah on the RV video converter which I previously reviewed I love that converter because it's the fastest converter I've used but it lacks this feature now let's say this is a movie that we have converted from our DVD or our movie collection let's say uh, what example have I used in the past okay Hocus Pocus let's say it's a movie it could be a TV series as well, but say it's a movie, and let's hit search. You have a, some suggestions down the side, such as the 1993 movie, 1994 mo uh, 1984 movie, looks like perhaps a Japanese movie, Hocus Pocus Pow Wow, we're not sure what that is, and something else. And let's say it's a 1993 movie with Bette Midler. We then select it in the list here. You can also change some th settings down here. Like say you've converted it to standard definition, you can say it it's just SD there or 720 there. In this case, let's say it's 1080p. Hit OK. It has now added a poster image and the details such as description and title to the video file that will be converted. That is so handy. It's an awesome feature. Smart Converter 2 on Mac has this feature. Uh, but Smart Converter on Windows doesn't because they never added Smart Converter 2 to Windows and it uh, uh, hasn't been updated in a while on that platform. Uh, Smart Converter 2, I would prefer to use one of these other programs such as this or the Marvi because you've got lots and lots of options here. Whereas the other one I mentioned, the Smart Converter is made to be quick and basic, so it's not full featured converter with lots of options. And I also have had problems with videos I've converted freezing on the Apple TV box or the sound cutting out altogether. I haven't had this issue yet with these other players. Okay, let's have a look at the preferences. In player sound after conversion, silent mode. Join consumer experience improvement program to help improve the program. Some people may not like this, in which case you can disable it. However, I don't mind. When all the jobs are finished, you can shut down the computer or put the computer to sleep or do nothing. Check for updates. Defaults every day. You can have never or each week or each month. Reset all dialogues. Convert. You can append a serial number if a file name is already in use. You add it to iTunes library automatically after conversion. Keep DVD chapter markers, low contents of a DVD or titles are just a movie and not the titles, 
how many CPU cores for conversion you want to use, I would recommend selecting the most. In this case I'm just using a MacBook Pro Retina display so I've only got two to select from. But I recommend you select the highest you can. Subtitle encoding, automatic or UTF-8, whatever. Burn, if you're in America you're going to want NTSC for your disk. Or if you're in the UK you're going to want PAL. What sort of burn speed, I'm going to have it at max speed. Play movies in sequence without returning to the main DVD menu or not. Download, what quality do you want it always to download your YouTube videos? You can have lower, you can have full 1080p HD, you can have 2K, and I believe that's uh, Ultra HD there. Select a folder to download to. Allow how many downloads at the same time? I selected three, at default I think is four. You can install and uninstall the browser extensions for the YouTube down, down, downloader there. Let's close that. I Okay, when you click the edit button on a video that you have in your list to convert, it brings up this. Here's a player of the video. Here's play rewind buttons here. Clicking this you can load a subtitle. This you can add uh you can basically open the snapshot folder and set a snapshot folder for saving snapshots to your work. You can add a trimmer mark for trimming the video. Uh preference keep the selected section or delete the section within the trim marks. Adjust is a crop, you can crop with aspect ratio, keep original, full screen, widescreen sixteen by nine, four by three, letterbox, pan and scan. De interlace applied or not, and what type of inter de, de interlacing you'd like to apply. Effects you can boost the volume if your video is too quiet, or if your video is blaring loud, you can lower it here. You can adjust your brightness, contrast, saturation, or apply some effects such as no effect. Which, well, that's pretty obvious. Bubble, mirror, old film style, video wall, uh, black and white, snow, noise, invert. Lens correction and a few others here. Applied all the video. Watermark. You can add an image watermark or a text watermark and then apply it to all the video, add transparency to it or not. And add your subtitle here. You can select a subtri subtitle file, then you select the type of encoding you want and the font you want, the position you want it on the screen. And that is basically it for editing quite good considering this is a converter not a video editor it's quite flexible it's quite good really let's just hit cancel so what do I think of it nice little converter which is made more worthy because of its additional features such as a YouTube downloader a movie and TV series information grabber or whatever you want to call it downloader or whatever and also a way to easily transfer it to your device such as a smartphone or tablet. As far as speed goes, it's not the fastest converter I've used. The fastest converter I've used is Maravi Video Converter. However, that does not have a YouTube grabber and it does not have the title movie TV series grabber thingy, which is unfortunate. But this one isn't as fast as the other so it depends what you want do you want features or do you want speed if you want speed go with Moravi if you want features go with this one so thanks for watching please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel as it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks